Come on in, you guys. It's day number 60 of my 365-day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. If you're brand new to this, I have been going live every single day in the year 2022, going live inside of an ice bath. So this is the actual bed of ice that I will be getting in here in just a minute. If you're new, it's called the Morozco Forge. And so if you go to their Instagram page, you can learn all about them. This device, it makes it so nice. It has a filtration system. I've been getting in there every day. And uh, somebody asked me the other day, do you have to change out the water? No, it's got a nice filtration system that I never change out uh, the water. And if it ever got dirty, it would actually stop making ice. The only way it makes ice is when there is fresh water in there. So it's still making plenty of ice, you guys. Uh, and I love it. I love it. So... <clears throat> Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Day 60. So officially 60 days in and 305 days to go. So today, you guys, I uh, hinted at this yesterday that I've been getting in lately for like maybe the last week and it's been super cold. Like I've been able to tolerate most of the first couple of months very easily and tolerated it, felt good really didn't have any problems at all. And suddenly, the last week has been so intense that for the first two and a half to three minutes, I'm okay, it's just like normal. But then something happens around the three to four minute mark where I get super cold, super numb, and I'm not sure what's happening. So I'm gonna notice that today when I'm in here, but I thought I'd have a little bit of fun. How about I sing? While I'm in there, I did this one day, I did uh, Over the Rainbow uh, on one of the uh, episodes that I did. But uh, let me just like rap, sing, do something uh, t to pass the time to see if that helps take my mind off the numbness and the pain and everything. So let's get this set up, you guys. Thanks for being here. Five minutes on the clock. Let's do this, you guys. Let's go. All right. I didn't run my feet along the bottom. So let me make sure I'm not stepping on any ice. All right, I feel like, okay, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna breathe first. Oh, my camera's off angle. Sorry about that, guys. I just noticed that I didn't angle it properly. All right, I'm doing pretty good, you guys. So it looks like it took about one minute, 45 seconds to do that. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit more challenging lately. For those of you that have been watching every day since the beginning of the year, I was doing pretty good for most of the last two months. And then, yeah, the last week has just been brutal. And I'm even starting to feel it come on now, you guys, where the intenseness of the numbness in my hands. I mean, it's back to pretty painful like it was ish at the beginning of all this. Um, it's just fascinating to note because I was doing so well without that, that it's just interesting to notice the differences. So let me in this last little bit, <clears throat> Let me pull out some old school Run DMC. I'm gonna do a 
I'm gonna do the song You Be Illin. You guys know that song? I shocked people at my birthday party the other night because we played a lot of rap music. I like, wow, Jimmy really likes rap music. Yes, he does. So, all right, let's see if I can remember You Be Illin by D, uh, like uh, Run DMC. Day when I was chilling in Kentucky Fried Chicken, just minding my business, eating food and finger licking. This dude walked in looking strange and kind of funny, went up to the front with a menu and his money. He didn't walk straight, kind of side to side. He asked this old lady, yo, is this Kentucky Fried? The lady said, yes, a while he smiled back. He gave a quarter and his order small fries, Big Mac, you be illin'. I haven't done that song in years, you guys. Ah, uh, my favorite one is the last line of that song. Dinner, you ate it. There is none left. It was salty with butter and it was yeah. You proceeded to eat it and you was in the mood. And I hoped you did not read it was a can of dog food. You be eating. Jimmy has not gone see now, I promise. That's a real song. Go look it up. <laughs> oh! It's painful, guys. I'm not gonna lie. My left thumb is throbbing right now. And all of my hands are pretty, pretty numbed up. And I know we talked about maybe lifting my hands up when that happens. And so I'm gonna lift them up here because uh, I've got less than a minute to go anyway. I'm gonna lift them up to see if that mitigates, and it does, uh, it's stopping the pain because it's really painful right there in that thumb right now. All right, it's time for me to go below the water anyway, so let's do that. I like my rap skills in there. <laughs> I didn't do the second verse. Went to a game to see Dr. J. Front row seats, leap fee, no pay. Radio in hand, snacks by the feet. Game's about to start when we're rocking to the beat. We finally wake up. Doc's gone to town. Round his back, through the hoop, and you scream, Touchdown, you be illin'. Vicky says she doesn't like my song. Vicky, Vicky, I don't care, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the song's for me, my dear. What do you want? You're fancy like Applebee's on a late night. I don't do country music, so <laughs> I don't know what your, what's your music. What do you want me to sing? But yeah, stay 60, you guys. The hands thing is getting a little intense. I like the idea of when it starts hurting, just pull them up. And that, that did seem to help a little bit. So we'll definitely be doing that again. So if you came in late, yes, day number 60 of getting into a 32 degree temperature ice bath. By the way, I did peak at the temp. It was just above 33 degrees today. So it, cold, cold, points cold. CC Guide Dogs is here, Sharon Pierce. Uh, my Brummet, Beth is here, Jules, Stop Barbecue C, uh, Bulletproof is here, Ariema, Linda, Linda says, nice enough here finally to walk outside to this. Yes, it's about 72 degrees out there today, so it's really nice here in South Kakalaki too. I saw next week, I think I saw next week's going to be like 80 something, so I was like, whoa, now we're talking, now we're talking. Um, yeah supposed to be beautiful this weekend so I will have a, a walk and talk this weekend by the way for those of you who missed it in fact what I might do because I missed last weekend because of my birthday party I might do two walk and talks maybe one Saturday one Sunday let's play it by ear let's see how it goes but uh, I would love to give you guys that since I I have deprived you for so long Clyde is here low carb family program case and keto for 
uh, Essential Times, uh, Fatih is here, Heather's here, Inko and Iderson, Kareen, Mary Soul, Vicky, Hank, Ketogenic Concepts, L. Shuffler, Karen's here, Elizabeth. Linda says, that was so amazing, you cracked me up. Sharon said, cracking me up. Yes, see, my rap skills. I posted a video of doing the MC Hammer the other night. Everybody got a kick out of that. That was fun. Newage is here. Nicole is here. Ginger's here. Pierce says, that is so motivating. Thank you. Like getting in an ice bath, I people say I make it look too easy. And I'm like, well, it's not hard. The physicality of getting in the ice bath and then doing it, and, and you know, that's not the hard part. The hard part is a lot of the mental stuff. Now, physically, this thumb was actually hurting in there. Um, and I'm not sure what's going on. I need to talk to the Morozco Forge people uh, what it means when when the digit, because it's the digits of the of the fingers that feel like the, the skin's being ripped in two directions. Um, and that's uncomfortable. That's not fun. So <laughs> I need to find out. But thank you, Pierce. Appreciate that. Kariana's here. Bulletproof says, two walk and talks. That would be great. Sharon likes that too. Parkman's here. He says, go Jimmy. Linda also likes the two walk and talks. Yes, we'll keep my uh, fingers crossed. Yes. Parkman said, ignore the haters. Yeah, that's an easy thing to say, my brother, but it is what it is. Parkman liked MC Hammer. Yes. That's been my go-to karaoke song, You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer for the longest time. I also have done You Be Illin by Run DMC, uh, but I do all kind of songs. I do... I do Bohemian Rhapsody. Mama, ooh, I don't want to die. Anyway, so I like that song. I do some, I do everything. I even did Light Lady Gaga one time, the uh, Bad Romance. Ra, ra, oh, uh, uh, Roma, Roma, ma, Gaga, oh, la, la. So you have to like like slur the words because you can't understand her at the beginning. <laughs> ah, Bulletproof says, can't wait for the walk and talks. Yes, I promise we will bring it, bring it. Gillis is here. Jack for mom is here. So yes, guys, day number 60 in the can today. And uh, yeah, we're rolling along. I feel like I have found the groove with it. It's going to be definitely interesting because we are getting warmer temperatures now. We're moving out of the winter and into the spring. What's really going to be fascinating too, that's very unique to the South, is we get a lot of pollen in the air. And I mean, if you've never lived in the deep South, when I say pollen, I don't mean just a few little things floating in the air. I'm talking about thick, crusted green stuff that gets over everything in this area. So as everything starts blossoming and blooming, usually our cars, you have to like spray it down to get all that green stuff off. So what's gonna happen when it covers the Morosco Forge? Does it get in the water? Does that mess with the filtration? I'm gonna have to observe and watch. So it will be definitely interesting. Bulletproof says Jimmy on tour. <laughs> No, Jimmy is very much not going on tour for uh, singing, that's for sure. But yeah, lots lots of uh, interesting things coming up, watching the changing of the seasons as it gets warmer. Um, yeah, I'm, t I'm anxious to have it. I mean, it's hard doing these ice baths during the winter. When you step outside and it's cold outside, especially cold and windy outside, which it has been a few times when I've been doing these, uh, that sucked to then get into the ice bath. And then I saw people like Mel Robbins go into the ice barrel. And I remember watching her walk out. There was snow all over the ground and she had the ice barrel out there. So it was naturally cold from that. But then she had... Uh, wind blowing on her face in what was obviously frigid temperature. So the uh, cold wind chill factor probably made it feel like in the teens. And then she jumps into a big old thing of ice. I'm like, holy crap. I'm going to stop whining about how cold it is and just do it. 
I want to see you do Top Gun. You lost that love and feeling. Yes, yes. Yes, there's a lot of good songs from the Top Gun album. Yeah, I'm an 80s kid, so I know all those songs, sadly. Sadly, sadly. But, all right, guys, let me pop off of here for now, and uh, we will come back again tomorrow with another ice bath video. Um, by the way, those of you that have been looking for the ice bath videos on YouTube, and you're like, hey, I hadn't seen any new ones since day 52, there's a reason for that. I've been in YouTube jail. Uh, they gave me a strike back last Tuesday, and so I was in YouTube jail for a week. Uh, and I just got out of the jail. I've been uploading a lot of videos, um, and I have a whole lot more to go. And so the ice bath videos will be part of that. So if you're watching this on Instagram, and yet you sometimes watch them on YouTube, um, that's why they're not on YouTube. But bear with me. I'll get them all up here within the next 24 hours. But uh, yeah, I'm finally out of jail. Can't post about Bill Gates saying the pandemic's over, so... I guess that's what they said was medical misinformation. So um, I have that to say to YouTube. So. <laughs> All right, guys, let me pop off here for now. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again real soon. Bye, guys.